What a gorgeous sunrise today. Absolutely stunning. In on the outskirts of Rochdale, and uh, we're not cruising, we're, we're not even pootily, we're <laughs> struggling. <it's> struggling, <laughs> we've already had to go in the weed hatch and fish out half a suitcase wrapped around the propeller. And it's freezing, your hands and it's cold, the water's hands. frozen. Well, freezing. We've got a bit of a day today, we're not sure whether to carry on and do 18 locks today or to just do what is it seven or eight just yeah, uh, more up halfway we know that we come more up halfway we'd quite like to get this stretch of the journey done we're really on the, uh, the run into manchester now we're not quite sure what more rings are like with us you can't just stop anywhere it's just not safe so we're just saying we're sort of we would in a way like to carry on all day and just get it done with this yeah, first stretch but really um, at the moment it's so slow isn't it? I don't know. It depends how many times we have to stop and get my hands down the weed hatch. That's uh, only an hour and a half cruising and uh, we've already been in there so fingers crossed we won't have to again. We were good this morning though, we were cruising, we were moving before nine to get water weren't we? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> that is early for us. <laughs> anyway, the lovely sunny weather from last week has gone. It's been replaced with dull, damp, grey weather. So uh, still seeing kingfishers though. Yeah. But there's still lovely things to look at. So. restriction because of the closeness of the bridge. The ground's really slippy again. But when I have to come and open it, there's nothing for me to push against. There's usually a brick you can put your foot up against. Nothing here.
this canal from Littleborough to Manchester has been designated a special site of scientific interest and there's lots of areas like that sectioned off and apparently it's to protect a rare plant called floating... what's it called? Plantain. It's a rotten day for cruising. Didn't get as much done as we did wanted to yesterday. We started peeing down very much like this. So it's left it today to get through the rest of the lock. So we've got four miles and 12 locks to do. So, uh, great. This is the M62 motorway that goes from Liverpool across to Hull. Cuts across the top of the north of the country. So interesting for Fran to get through here. So I don't think we'll be doing much filming today. It's pretty grim. We got a lift bridge and uh, instructions say in stop the traffic first, insert your key, turn clockwise, if the buttons fail to light there's a fault. So guess what, key in, turn clockwise, no lights. So I'm going to ring that number and see what happens. Well that weren't bad going, 15 minutes later and the CRT man's here see what he can do. It's going to be a manual lift by the looks of things. So Billy, our man from CRT, came and agreed nothing was happening so he went into the control room on the side there and uh, pressed reset and lo and behold it all happened. Hopefully this is going to go up high enough for the chimney hunt. <laughs> well that was amazing so from finding out that the uh, bridge wasn't working within 15 minutes Billy from the CRT was here and uh, got us through just needed resetting a bit like uh, the computer at home you know switch it off and switch it back on again so uh, it didn't hasn't really scuppered our plans We've got a bloody awful day today haven't we day of all days that that had to happen we've got 18 locks five miles into Manchester on canal that you keep getting grounded on because it's shallow and it's difficult so we really wanted to just to crack through and of course it's it's dark by four and getting really cold by about three really <laughs> so not already um we, yeah so we, we left early this go. morning to, so we could get through well, that's only delayed us by about half an hour, so uh, not too bad. As long as we don't have any more problems, we should be alright. So yesterday we got to all the 12 locks in the pouring rain, 
Oh, that, that was, was a of, hellish day. One of our worst days cruising, I think. Really cold, really wet, wasn't it? It was, and our tempers were fraying, weren't they, by the end of the day? <laughs> we didn't have many smiles on our faces, so no. we didn't do any video in yesterday. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, into Manchester and really looking forward to it actually. Although, you know, we keep saying we're fed up of being in towns and cities, there's a lot to be seen and done in Manchester. So, we're going to take two or three days being all being well uh, and have a mooch about. It's about um, just making the most of opportunities that you've got. Although, as you say, we don't like being in town. There's art galleries, I think football museum. Did you fancy doing Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing the football museum. The, you know, so while we're there, we'll get our fix of culture and busyness and then hopefully this time next week we might be somewhere quiet. Oh, imagine. <laughs> We've not seen a boat for three weeks. Three weeks? We haven't seen a <laughs> boat moving for three weeks. We are beginning to wonder whether we're the only ones moving on the canals until we saw some other people on other canals going. I think it's just this one. And for a canal that used to be the main route between Leeds and Manchester, as far as one transport, routes, or yeah. one of them, yeah, as far as transport of the cotton and the coal and the goods, it would have been so busy. It's a shame to see it now so empty and so um, in disrepair, really. It's not looked after. And whether it's not looked after because nobody bothers to come here or nobody bothers to come here because it's not looked after who knows but it is a shame to see it so abandoned really uh, yesterday you got grounded three times in lock pounds didn't you i actually yeah R rich had to jump off the boat we lost the pole in the water i was on my own on the bowl, boat trying to push up the pole couldn't do it um managed to get off in the end and you had to scramble through a bramble hedge oh, no. on the wrong side of the canal because that's where I was stranded and that was just simply because as the lock filled I got grounded. Um, and you weren't you know, exactly yeah. too far from the centre of the canal either no. were you? It's, uh, no I was about four feet out um, but anyway hopefully that'll be the end of it and this is what we've got coming up. Normally we'd be worrying about meeting the boat coming the other way on this tight turn. But I don't think uh, there's any chance of that on this canal. Let's get the good life. One of Fran's favourite old comedies from the 70s, The Good Life. Oh, well, I was thinking more about the Frank Sinatra song. You're going to give it. It's <laughs> the good life. <laughs> well, that's a tight one. I left that a bit late. You did leave it a bit late. On the fence. Oh, it's a yeah. Obviously, a good fishing spot here. Hello, friend. I've been following you all the way along the canal. It's amazing. That's the closest we've ever been to one, isn't it? That is. Are you going to pour this coffee then, or what? So that was bridge 77A, which means we've just got on to the last page of the map for our journey today and as you can see we've got a nice long lot of locks and we're hoping to go down this little arm here and there's a marina and some moorings and boat facilities there so and this is the centre of Manchester so hopefully this isn't going to be too much of a challenge and we'll be here in time for afternoon tea. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas, yeah. <laughs>
increasingly frustrated with the time it's taking to get through these locks. Because of the bugs of the day who want to dem demolish and vandalise things, we've got these boxes that we have to unscrew on either side of the front of each lock. Plus the fact there's no walkway across the gates. It's taking forever to get through these locks. So, uh, I should just take a deep breath in and out. Anyway, we have uh, can't tar everybody with the same brush. We've had lots of offers of help from people, including hoodies on bikes who want to help with the gates, etc. So, uh, it's not all bad. And a chap just came out of his house and approached me and I thought, mm. he says, uh, you do know not to stop till you get into the centre of Manchester, don't you, mate? <laughs> yeah, I know that. It's a sign of the times, unfortunately. Sounding like an old fart now, aren't I? had a bit of an incident on the bridge behind a gang of kids throwing sticks and stones at the boat I was stuck at the lock behind closing the gates and dropping the paddles Fran carried on and I hit Fran on the leg with a, a stone or a stick or something I caught up with them and just said oi please don't and they just stopped and ran off you know but the mentality of kids An interesting mechanism to open up the lock gates. You're okay. I'm fine. Got um, some oil thrown sticks at me from the canal side. And I couldn't see it, she just put the lock, but I'm fine. It's all to the stone. How are you doing? I've lost my sense of humour and my will to live. It's just taking so long. Every lock we're having to fill and it takes forever to empty because they're so leaky at the back. And this by wash here is like Niagara Falls. So you just got to crank it to get out of Apparently this uh, canal was empty over the last few days and we think they're letting loads of water down or they have been because it's just pouring down the bywashes. I can't hover near the lock because it just pulls me over um, into the bywash. It's really scary and as you come out of the lock it's knocking you the other side. It's now, I think, 10 to 3 and we've still got seven locks to go. So it looks like it's going to be dark before we get to Manchester. We know there's moorings there um, and it's lit getting into the basin, but we don't really don't want to be going along this canal through these locks uh, when it's dark, uh, especially as what happened earlier with us. But all we can do is keep going. There's nowhere to stop now. Our goal is in sight. The bright lights of Manchester. Hopefully, just another hour of locking to do, and we'll be there.
Oh, this is a bit interesting. I had a limbo under the gate. Lose a hell of a lot of weight. Or climb over the top. Climb over the top. ratio and these lock gates at the bottom are so, is so low it takes 50 turns on each paddle so that's 200 and both sets of gates to open and close and then multiply that by 18 locks we've done today oh I think that's 3600 just on the bottom gates. Oh. oh, it's a real deep lock this. It's got to be close to 14, 15 foot. Recording this on my mobile phone because the GoPro cameras are dead. Excuse the wind noise. But that's it, that's the last lock done. What time is it, Fran? Five o'clock? Yes, yeah, must be about five. Yeah. And uh, 20 to five. And we've just got about 500 yards to go and we can moor up all being well. But down it looked pretty in the dark.